If you are now considering which type of fruit trees to add into your garden, let me guess. It must be citrus, right? Citrus trees are fabulous addition into your garden landscape and fun growing experience. You can grow citrus directly on the ground if you live in tropical region or grow in container if you live in subtropical region. Either way, citrus fruit trees are miraculously awesome. Every gardener should have at least one or two citrus trees grown in their own backyard. There are so many citrus trees varieties to choose from. You can choose to grow citrus that will grow up to 20 feet or you can choose to grow citrus that will grow as low as 10 feet. Now, most people said to me, Marcelina, I really don't have a bigger space to grow citrus trees right now. Where do I put my tree if I get one? Well, you, it doesn't have to be. You can grow citrus even if you don't have backyard. You can grow citrus in containers. So in this video, I'm going to share with you my top five on the list of citrus trees that are popular and are great in containers. So stay tuned. Hello happy YouTubers, this is Marcelina. Before we begin, if you guys want to see more citrus videos, subscribe to this channel and also don't forget to hit that notification bell so you get notified right away every time I release new video. Alright, here are the five citrus trees that are great in container. Coming up. Alright, so we have five best citrus trees that you can grow in the container and start growing right now so this is going to be in any order right so the number one citrus that is great in container is Myers lemon. Meyer lemon. Meyer lemon this is a this is a hybrid from a lemon what is it a, a tangerine and a orange <laughs> I don't know. this was discovered over in china people were growing these out on their patios and containers producing beautiful lemons this is actually a small one of our smaller ones usually mm. they're twice this size but as you can see we grew this from cutting these are the same ones that we saw on our website and as you can see because it is taken from a cutting and and uh air layered and it's already flowering it's already <laughs> producing many of our plants that we sell online are already producing fruit and are flowering so this is very common of all of our plants because we don't raise them from seed and also it's better to have your own fresh fruit as opposed to buy it in a store bought. We live in Ohio, we're zone 6B, mm -hmm. and we eat lemons from our greenhouse all winter long. These produce fruit right now, uh, flowers and blossoms and little fruit, and by the fall, they'll be able to start harvesting them, and of course, during the winter time, we don't even need to pick them because they stay on the mm -hmm. tree for a long period of time, and the longer we leave them on there, the better they get. They actually will taste like a sour orange uh, once they get really, really ripe. And you can grow them from seed, uh, but here's the caveat. <laughs> Anytime you grow a hybrid from seed, by the time it actually does produce fruit, you don't know what you're gonna get. Mm -hmm. You could get a Meyer lemon, or you could end up getting a tangerine or the orange. You could get either one. Because yeah. all three of them are good. Yeah. You know, you can't go wrong, but you're not, may, you may not end up getting a Meyer lemon if you're very tree from seed. So if you want to make sure, this is a clone of the mother tree. Mm -hmm. We've had our mother trees for 12, 13 years. More than that. Maybe more than that. And we bought that from seed. Look at yeah. the flowers. Look at the flowers. From cutting. Look at all that. Just from cutting. Look at that. Just from the cutting. <laughs> and this is, we, we uh, propagated this last year. Mm -hmm. This is last year's growth. And it's already got getting starting to get the woody uh, bark. So, what container would you recommend to grow? Citrus? I would put this right now. I put this in a gallon container and, then and leave it in there it, for yeah. another year or two, and then and then, and then repot it, and eventually put it in a milk crate, self pruning planter. Mm -hmm. We have a videos online on our channel. You can see how to make them. It's just using a milk crate and mm -hmm. um, a weed guard because it allows the roots to breathe and they, the roots don't go crazy, yeah. they don't get root bound. 
Uh, it's really nice. You, and plus, the milk crate has handles so you can pick it up and move it it's wherever you want. It's easy to move, you know. Yeah, very so easy to move. You can move from anywhere where there is enough sunlight, you can move your crate. And I think that is crate gardening is awesome. Yeah. So the now, Meyer lemon is our number one number one. So pick. number two, what would be the number two pick that is great in container? Calamansi. Yeah, that is my favorite. Calamansi citrus, is calamansi. highly desirable plant by Asian country. Uh -huh. um, it's it's a small. I have some in the back here. Um, <laughs> yeah, there is a. Yeah, there's something in there. They're in the back, they're all in the back. back there. I'm yeah. not going to get up and get it right now. Mm -hmm. But we'll show you some pictures. I'll put some pictures in the uh, in the frame here for you. The calamansi is a is a little. They call it a Philippine Philippine lime. Mm -hmm. In fact, I have a calamansi cutting here. I finally got into and look at the calamansi. Yeah, it's got one little fruit on it <laughs> as a cutting, and it's you can eat fruit. the rind, the peeling. You can eat the whole plant. Mm -hmm. And when they're great for in soups, you cut them in half and squeeze the juice in there, and then just eat the eat the peeling. Mm -hmm. It's uh, it's very soft and tender. Kalamundin is a hybrid between kumquat and uh, mandarin. That's why it has this like a yellow orange. Mm -hmm. And then when you peel it, it's a little bit sour and a little bit sweet in between. Yeah. So, and it is I think kalamundin is one of my favorite citrus because. It is easy to care and it is not much, uh, it can tolerate pests and diseases. What do you think about the Eureka lemon? Do you, how would you compare the Meyer lemon with the Eureka? If I have to choose between uh, Eureka and Meyer lemon, I will I will grow Meyer lemon than yeah. Eureka. Why? Uh, because uh, Eureka, it, sometimes Eureka, it takes too long to produce fruit. And? and it is. It is too sour. Susceptible. Yeah, susceptible to disease. Yes. <laughs> Very susceptible. Yeah, to susceptible disease. to yeah. disease. They're having a. They My eureka a died. Horrible hard of, time. Mm -hmm. So you 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 can grow Meyer lemon. That is number one. Number, number two is. This uh, is lemon a. Dead. This is a variegated eureka. And this is beautiful. Look at that. Mama's got this beautiful. up in the it aquaponic tank, it and it's be. too wet. It should not be that wet. That, yeah. will, that will kill the plant being that wet. So mm -hmm. this needs to be removed from up there. Put it over there, honey. So, so uh, what will be the third uh, citrus that you think is good for container? I would say kumquat. Kumquat, you know, we, I've been telling him to let's grow kumquat because kumquat is uh, has this unique unique fruit they call that the little gym have a citrus family. i couldn't tell you <laughs> i have never eaten a kumquat before i hear that it is like a little bit spicy in the outer space and then a little bit sweet inside it's almost like kalamandin because it is bred by kalamandin you know mm -hmm. kalamandin is bred between kum kumpat and, and uh, it's mandarin. bigger fruit though right yeah the shape is a little bit like oblong shape and Kumquat, yeah. kumquat can stand, I think, 20 degrees colder. Yeah. So, so that would be the third, the third. Uh, the plant. third. <laughs> third plant. Third. You third. can grow in container, and it is. You gotta be real great careful on your pronunciation because third and third are <laughs> third a mile and apart. Third. And, third. And Just definition. bear with me, guys. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, Meyer lemon, calamandin, kumquat. What else? Mm. Number I have four. I have a tangelo. Oh, tree, I don't recommend tangelo in the in the. But container. not in a container. But I have a tangelo. It we've had it for five years. It finally blossomed this winter. Tangelo is very but, susceptible to disease. Yeah, but so far with the uh, Azatec, we've been doing a real good job, and it's, it's doing very well. I haven't had any disease at all with it. Yeah. This is a. This is great, guys. Azatec. This is okay. a product that. We have been putting together, working and tweaking this for over five years with great success. Mm -hmm. I use this on our bougainvillea. The mealybugs love to attack this. The ants keep bringing up their little look buddies. At, look at your thing, your treatment. Yeah. Look at this, look at this citrus over here. No, yeah. I mean this one, you're oh. treating this yeah. one from Azotec. We um, showed you this a few weeks ago yeah. when we were doing the video. And uh, this was being attacked by mealybugs. Look at how And we started that. using the Azotec on there. Just give it a little spray. Uh, what, I do it almost once a day when I come out here. I always give it just a little, sh a and little misty. I notice it, it doesn't harm. No, it doesn't harm the, the uh, desert rose at all. Mm -hmm. It's uh, it's 
very harmless. Great in hibiscus too, because hibiscus is very sensitive to neem, and if you use acetate plus, it's great in hibiscus. Mm -hmm. And I've been spraying a lot in. When hibiscus. we first started using the neem oil, pure neem oil with just insecticidal soap, it was burning the heck out of mm -hmm. the hibiscus. It was killing them. Same with my mandevilla. It was killing the mandevilla. It was too powerful, too too strong. So we altered it. We've added since then more botanical oils mm -hmm. and some other products that uh, have really been helpful. It works really well. So, so getting back, back to your to lemons. Uh, lemons. <laughs> so we already have that Meyer lemon, uh, kumquat, calamondin. Number four is la a lime. And uh, that lime, now they're not the lime. What type of lime is that? That is a um, uh, Persian. Persian lime. Yeah, Persian yeah. lime. Oh Persian my lime. goodness. And it's huge. Look at the fruit in there. Hopefully you can see it, the fruit. I will show you later on this video. It's really nice to grow in a container. And what what can you use with the lime? Margaritas. Margaritas? <laughs> it's about I, the only thing I can think of. Key lime pie. I know you put it in beer. In what? Beer. Beer? Yeah. Oh, and a Corona? Corona, yeah. yeah you can it's put any crazy. lime in a Corona. Yeah, lime is also great in the container and it is beautiful. It has this thick, you know, thick. Have you ever, we haven't grown a finger lime yet. I want to grow one of those finger limes. You do? Yeah, when you cut it open, it's all got these little tiny balls inside, little tiny green balls. Yeah, that might be and they pop in your mouth when you eat them. Yeah. That would be good in Corona. Pour all those little balls right inside your beer. Wow. Drink the beer with the little balls and pop them in your mouth. <laughs> so that is that is another thing is lime and yeah. uh, I grow quite a lot of limes so I grow my lemon majority of my citrus here are calamandian because now if you uh, live in a I, if, I'm you, a live, huge if fan you live if you live in a calamandian. northern hemisphere in the colder zones when you bring your citrus tree in the house in the winter time mm -hmm. are you still going to be able to get fruit and stuff in there if it is seasonal, you know. Yeah. Now it, the calamansi it blooms a, all year long. This is a lot of questions about like, how do you uh, make your citrus to fruit? Well, your citrus will fruit if you give them the requirements, you know, it needs. And it takes a lot of energy from the sun. It's a free energy for the citrus to get that going, to keep it, because it takes a lot of energy to create flower, to create fruit, and to build right. up the fruit into maturity. This is what other people... Without, we're jumping off the subject here, talking about the top five best citrus plants, but I just want to reiterate, if you're not getting blossoms, if you're not getting fruit, mm -hmm. and your leaves are not, it, you're producing a lot of leaves, but not getting any uh, fruit, you got too much nitrogen in your soil, uh, but the first thing I would do, remember, is always check your pH in your soil when it comes to citrus. Check that pH. You want to have that 6.5 range. Over 7 is not good for citrus. And as soon as you get your pH in line, then your plant will be able to absorb the nutrients. And then the next thing you want to focus on is how many hours of sunlight and how much watering you're giving it. Too much water, not good. You're going to get root rot, which is another reason why to get a real good uh, pot that's going to drain your water really quickly. Mm -hmm. So when you give that plant a good full glass of water, if it's in a gallon, if that water should run right out the bottom, mm -hmm. if it's cooling at the bottom, you're going to get root rot and your tree is going mm -hmm. yeah, you you to die. If you're, if you're, yeah, you gotta, you, you have to be a little bit of a plant doctor when you're working with, mm -hmm. especially citrus, citrus, because you can have so many things that are giving you signals from the yellowing of the leaves to the veining of the leaves mm -hmm. to uh, curling of the leaves, a lot of things that go wrong and you have to be able to identify and recognize what's going wrong. And Before some of your citrus plants are more susceptible to these things than others and that's why we like the Meyer lemon so well yeah, because, because the is. Meyer lemon can tolerate a wider range of mistakes. Mm -hmm. Kind of like in the fish industry, I raise a lot of fish and in the aquaponics Tilapia is probably the most sought after fish for aquaponics because they can tolerate a lot of mistakes that you make as an aquaculturist. And I do tilapia and koi here in the greenhouse and I've got two 2,000 gallon tanks here with tilapia and koi in it right now. Mm -hmm. And uh, you gotta watch, you gotta you watch the watch tilapia. It. They can overcrowd themselves and, and uh, they die because they're not off oxygen mm -hmm. in the water. So that is most <clears throat> most popular potted citrus, the, you know, the Meyer lemon, calamandin, kumquat, lime. Those are uh, most common. Oops, there goes the heater. Most common 
spotted citrus trees that you can grow even if you don't have backyard. Now the the number five, the last one that um, that is good to grow in a container is oranges, and there are different types of oranges. What I like about I want to grow is clementine. Clementine, clementine, clementine. Yeah, I think that is the best because it has this fruit, very sweet. And least, uh, That's what they say about the Washington Naval is that it's very sweet also, the Washington Naval, but I'm not sure how big it gets. I think it yeah. make it larger. It, it goes bigger, yeah. but the Clementine, Clementine is, uh, you know, it can tolerate to grow in the ground or it can tolerate to grow in the container. You can go in the container and uh, the same as Meyer Lemon, you know, it needs a good amount of sunlight and uh, you can place your um, orange in full sun, like six hours, and then partial shade in the afternoon. And he will produce, oh my goodness, my, my neighbor, he had this huge production of clementine oranges. Beautiful. And every time I stopped by, I, um, I was tempted to even just pick one. Now this is a... Calamansi or Calamandin, grown from seed. This is, how old is this plant? Three year? years old. Three years old, really? Yeah. Are you serious? Mm -hmm. This is in a self-pruning pot. You can see the root stop right there at the bottom of there. If you put it on a soil surface, the root will continue to grow down in there and then you gotta rip it off to get it off the ground. But this is, if this is three years old, it's gonna be another five years before, before this thing can produce plant uh, fruit. If you see the white, up on there that's uh, diatomaceous or those are diatoms on there they just sprinkle it on there just to keep keep the bugs from crawling on it or whatever and, and messing with it because it is such a tender little plant but uh, this was grown from seed we think we're out here in the greenhouse a lot of times we just pop a calamansi off the tree and just pop it in our mouth and eat it and there's like two or three seeds in each one you know, and we just stick it in the ground somewhere and they start growing and then we transplant them you know what is great about calamansi you have a year of enjoyment of seeing the fruit in the tree because the fruit would last for a year before it dries. Yeah. You know, and you pick them all year long. When you pick up your, when you pick your uh, citrus, you need to, in you need to use a scissor. Don't, you know, don't grab with your hands because you might deteriorate the end of the fruit and also damage the branch of the tree. Now, it is necessary to prune your citrus. Yeah, you can prune it to the size you want to keep it at. If you want to keep it in a container, you want it probably no more than three feet tall. Yeah. And so like you can prune them off at the... You want to prune them in the spring and in the fall. You don't want to prune them while they're in the growing season. Yeah. So you can minimize your, you know, your height. You can reduce the height by mm -hmm. pruning. Now, I would say... Calamandin, I don't think Calamandin is pruning. Depends how big you want to get. One, we have one calamansi back in the back. It's over it's six like feet compact. tall. It's six compact. feet tall in a milk crate container. And uh, we have other ones that are smaller, two, two to three feet tall. Both of them produce a lot of fruit. The one in the back at six feet tall produces hundreds of fruit. So I would recommend if you grow citrus in container, the best container is to uh, have a five gallon container to look to your citrus can grow a little bit better and healthier and it has to be self cooled and the and five and the milk crate <coughs> is five pot. gallons the smart pot is good too because it's smart pots are good yeah but you need to have deep and wide one, yeah. yeah and uh hydroponics what kind of but soil what kind of soil do you recommend for container gardening the only thing that can tolerate a wide range of soil as long as it is there is a good drainage is uh, clementines, you know, clementines can tolerate different soil, and you can... Now, if you're using, if you're using, like, the cocoa core stuff, there's not enough nutrients in there to maintain the pH that you need. You need to have you something... Have some compost. Yeah, you need to have some type of a compost in there. How about miracle Grow? Yeah, that's... miracle Grow is good, right? That's got a good balance in it. It's got some fertilizer built into it. But if you're just using a bag of the, uh, the cocoa core with perlite in it, that's okay for seedlings and starting your plants, but not for long-term plant growth. 
to start growing citrus guys in a container this is awesome look at this this is lime and uh, beautiful so if you have a citrus like this big you can transfer this in a pub five gallon container so yeah. it can grow a little bit and uh, citrus is easy easy care and as long as you easy just, as long as everything's in the right in the right uh, requirements. Requirements, you know? right. It's almost the same, same as human. You know, if you don't get enough uh, nutrients, then you will be suffering from uh, nutrient deficiency. It's almost the same thing. You know, you too much nutrients, you get fat. <laughs> <laughs> too much nutrients, you get fat. <laughs> yeah. So get your lemon, guys. Uh, check out your greens. Dot com. There's a. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, guys. We mm -hmm. need we need subscriptions. I'll tell you why. YouTube is changing the algorithms all the time, and these days we're not getting the same views and subscribers like we were a year ago. A year ago was like amazing, mm -hmm. and our, our channel really needs some uh, some adrenaline. And you guys are <laughs> you guys are what help us keep this program going. Uh, we've got about two hundred videos out there right now not yet almost, almost. Yeah. yeah I said almost but mm -hmm. your subscriptions your comments uh, hit the like button so when we have that new video that comes out you get notified on the side that cash your greens has a new video and hopefully it'll be a video that will help you out with your growing uh, we, we try to keep everything on the channel to, to growing and raising different kind of plants that will help you guys out so subscribe and also <laughs> try my t-shirt if you, if you like lemon, this is an awesome t-shirt. Yeah. What is this about? Check the link below the video. The life gives you lemon. If you're interested in purchasing some of our uh, citrus plants, I'll have mm -hmm. a link down below for you guys to take you right to our website where you guys can pick it up and mm -hmm. uh, we'll get it out to you really quick. And so. you can watch all of our citrus videos so to help you how this to is, care here. This is your growing season starting right now. This mm -hmm. is the best time of year to start growing and take advantage of yeah. it. And also get uh, get and try this because now it's spring, so the more leaves out there. This is gonna be on then, Amazon pretty soon. Right now you can get this on our website and on eBay, coming to Amazon very soon here. We're getting ready mm -hmm. to launch. So try this one and see what will happen. You try it one time, you'll you be might back like to buy it. more than one. <laughs> Guarantee you. I use a lot of that in my in my greenhouse. It's really great in yeah. controlling stress. All, All right. right, so we'll wrap up. Rub it up. And wrap it up. <laughs> we'll see you next time. Thank you for watching, guys. And this is Marcelina. Greg Stevens. Uh, peace. Peace, man.